On the Trail of Old Bronx The Bucking Horse Man, a collection of old bucking horse stories, has been a work of progress since 1990. It's based on my love and fascination with the Old Bronx and the stories of their era. I was fortunate to have grown up handling some of the great bucking horses of the 1950s. The horses were owned by the Kelsey Muma Rodeo Company. Leo Muma was my father. From 1915 into the early 1930s, Leo Muma had built a well-known rank string of bucking horses. Many of them he had raised on his ranch. His ranch lay about 15 miles northeast of the old Fort Okanagan, site of the first fur trappers in that part of the northwest. The old Fort Okanagan is now underwater, near the point where the Okanagan River empties into the Columbia River. In 1933, Leo Muma joined forces with Tim Bernard, and by the 1940s, their string of bucking stock was well known as Muma Bernard Rodeo Company. Leo and Tim contracted many of the Northwest rodeos, including Ellensburg, Washington, and the famous Pendleton Roundup. In the early 1930s and early 1940s, the horses were shipped by train to rodeos at Burley, Idaho, Livingston, Montana, and on to Cheyenne, Wyoming. In 1940, the Moomaw and Bernard String traveled to Fort Worth, Texas, Little Rock, Arkansas, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. In the fall of 1946, the Muma Bernard Rodeo Company was sold to Ring Brothers of Wilbur, Washington. In 1951, Deb Copenhaver was competing at Madison Square Garden when Everett Colburn asked him if he knew where he could find some proven bucking horses. Deb informed him that Ring Brothers wanted to sell and he could talk to them when he got home. The sale was made and Colburn sent trucks to pick them up. The horses were shipped to Dublin, Texas. In the spring of 1952, Deb won the Houston Rodeo on one of the horses named Witchway. In 2003, my wife and I settled in Dublin, Texas. I soon learned that had been the headquarters of Everett Colburn. We learned where the Lightning Sea was and went out to see what was left of the ranch. There were still signs on some of the gates. Several years ago, I started a search for the old horses, especially Blue Blazes who was born on Leo Muma's ranch in 1925. Someone told Leo that he was still bucking in the mid to late 50s. I've not found a trace. I'm hoping that old programs or a horse list will be found that will show some of the names. In an interview with Deb Copenhaver, he made the statement that those old horses should never be forgotten. The old Bucking Horse Museum and Hall of Fame has been created from that love and respect for the old bucking horses. I'm thankful for the information I got from Deb Copenhaver, Ellie Lewis, and Dan Taylor, and many others.